hello everybody and welcome to this channel once again thanks so much for clicking on this video so if you are new here kindly hit on the subscribe button to subscribe if you are old here thanks so much for coming back again so in this video i'm going to show you how to make a simple makeup channel art in photoshop so without further ado let's get into the video all right so the first thing that i do as usual i open my channel art template which i downloaded from google if you type in channel art template you're going to find this over there and then you download it and you are, you open it in your photoshop so what i will do first is select my rectangle over here and draw a nice rectangle from here i'm doing it to cover this particular area over here so all right and then i'll leave it so i have this color nicely built over here you can choose that you can change the color from here anything you want to use but i prefer using this particular color that is for a reason so i'll right click and go to convert to smart object and then that rectangle will be converted into a smart object now i'll double click on the smart object thumbnail and it will open another document for me uh, basically what we're going to do is we create anything on this particular rectangle and it, it will reflect back onto our main channel art template right so i'll go and select my rectangle to before then you need a picture of yourself perhaps in a makeup style or something like that but since i don't have anything like that i'll be using a picture and i'll draw the eclipse over here something like this and i'll change the color to white i'll make sure that i have it covered up to this side and i'll right click and go to blending options add a little stroke to it and increase it to about 40. i'll change the color to any color nice you can also change the color if you want to and then i'll click ok when i'm done so the next thing that i'll do is import my picture so the picture that you're going to use you make sure that you bring it in so we go to place and then i'll select the picture this is a picture of benedict agafa an actress in ghana and she does not know anything about this picture i'm just using a picture for illustration purposes so i right click and go to rasterize layer right click again and go to create clip masking so basically this one is going to fit into the eclipse that we've created and then i'll press ctrl t to resize it something like this and right click and select the flip horizontal so it is going to flip it the other way around like that right so what i'll do is bring it down like this and then yes so i have it over here and it's it is very nice and looking good i've intentionally left this space over there because um, it might not work out with the template that we created so basically we we are leaving the space so that it can fit into our template real nicely so the next thing that i'll do is add a test to it probably the name of your channel so in this case i'm going to use a name since i'm doing this with a picture so i'll select the font messenger pigeons and i'll include that in the description if you want to download it so benedictus yes and then i'll press ctrl t to transform it somewhere like this or something like this and then i'll change the color from here so i'll click on this one and it open the color palette and i'm going to use this particular color something yellowish but a little bit dark and i'll click ok so when i'm done i'll press ctrl j and make a duplicate of this test and then i'm going to change that one to make over i don't know if i'm right but just take it like that okay so i'll change this font to acrobat and i will link that to in the description if you want to download it so i will change this font type um the size to extra bold and then i'm going to position it somewhere around here so it, it will read like benedict text makeover so i'll select the over 
you can change the color from here so anytime you want to change the color you just have to come to this side and you can change the color so i'll pick a color from here and i'll click ok select the make and then change that color to, to something white so when i have this i can just select the two and then bring it somewhere here so it is as simple as that next i'm going to select my rectangle two again and then i'll draw a small rectangle beneath the benedicta and the makeover so something like this and then i'll change the color to yellow so anytime you place this icon over or the arrow over here and it indicates this sign it means that you can pick the color over there so i pick the yellow color and then i can bring it down like that so the next thing that i'm going to do i'm going to zoom in so that you can see it very clearly and i'm going to select my eclipse tool again here so i'll draw a small eclipse like this just like that right so probably we're going to add what she does on her channel so um let's say makeup she's a makeup artist let me take it that way makeup artist and i'll change this one from extra bold to semi bold and the size will be or the color sorry the color will be yellow or you can make it any color you want to i just bring it up here make sure that i have it somewhere here and it looks nice just like that and then i'll bring the eclipse over here right so let's say makeup artist and then let me zoom in small so let's select the two and bring it somewhere around here just like that so you can take your time to position it very nicely and then you make a duplicate again by pressing ctrl j and command j if you are using a mac so i'll change this one to uh, tutorial so let's say benedicta is a makeup artist and she does makeup tutorials also so you click ok when you are done now the last thing that we're going to this one is very simple we are not going to add so much or so many things so what we're going to do next is to add another test probably social media um test so let's say facebook facebook.com forward slash and i'm using my facebook page it does not belong to her please it does not belong to her so you select it and i'm going to make this one white the color will be white and i'll bring it over somewhere here let's decrease that small right yes so just like this and then i will duplicate that one too and change it to instagram and the instagram too does not belong to her it is my own instagram account so instagram.com forward slash say innocent so say innocent is my um instagram account so i can select the two like that and then drag it somewhere here and then your banner should be ready so it is very simple you have your channel name or let's yeah your channel name and what you does on your channel and probably some two or three stuff on your banner and you should be ready to go so after doing all these things what you're going to do is right click and select close from here and it will ask you whether you want to save the changes to the previous channel art template so you continue by clicking yes and then you wait for it to save so simple and after that you see that it has reflected onto our previous um channel but then we have the space that we left was not all that good so we, we have to readjust it so we open it up a little bit like this and then we drag it somewhere here so something like this we'll do and then we bring it down so like that and then you click ok so you apply and then close again so you save 
and now you see that it has reflected back onto our channel art so this is very simple and you can go ahead and make so many changes to this one but then if you want to change the background of this whole thing or this um, template you go to the solid color over here and you can add a unique background to it something like this okay so let's try this out i think here we do and then you click ok and then you can also add some shadows from here let's go and drop some shadows and then increase the sizes small small spread small and then you click ok when everything is done so this is the actual channel art template you can save and upload onto youtube so let's see how we save that you go to file and then save us or save anyhow you want to use so i'll use save us and then i'm going to save it as maybe um, makeup channel art and then i'll choose jpeg because youtube does not accept t files so i'll choose jpeg or png that is the two formats youtube will accept so jpeg and probably place it on my desktop and continue to save so you click ok all right so we go back and this is it it has appeared over here so this is basically what you can up upload on youtube for your channel ads thank you so much for watching this video please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and if possible share for me and leave any comments in the comment section below i'm going to attend to all of it if you want to see more of my videos you can go to my videos and i have a whole lot from cartoon to business card to anything about photoshop so thank you once again for watching i'll catch you in the next video innocent here bye